Seven hand value win. Nice. Hey, Brass Facts here. Today I'm gonna go over my overlanding setup, my long range setup, my recce setup, whatever turn gets you off uh, and helps convey the point the best, generally via mountain access because you know, Utah is bordered by a large mountain range and it's designed around allowing me to work in that environment more effectively. Why? Dude, fucked if I know. So I can get a near bird's eye view over my AO to observe certain travel routes. I don't know, just pick whatever fantasy boog scenario of choice and kind of just imagine that, right? It's a, a system designed around letting me go very far in a short amount of time or somewhat close in a very, very short amount of time, right? You know the deal. This goal, the goal with the setup is to create the most minimalist setup possible that allows me, as I said, to go far and as fast as possible generally 30 miles top round trips, probably much less if I have elevation gain requirements built in. It also allows me to push through urban centers at night if required, but that's obviously a much more sketch proposition and I'll generally use armor and have a different setup for that. This setup is designed around shedding weight and as a result, shedding capability where able. All right, on to Brock in the other room my audio in a higher quality format so I'm going to speak loud and hopefully the microphone will pick it up and here comes my dog about to ruin this take hello yeah you have to be in the same room as me don't you yep hi hi go lie down down oh right here excellent right in my face All right, we work with what we can. We'll work around the dog because uh, you can't you can't tell the dog to go away. Huh? So I want to emphasize that this setup is essentially a recce style setup. The goal is to go somewhere and to do so in an efficient amount of time, and then to come back. Do not confuse this with the extreme end of the spectrum where you trade all mobility for capability and that would be a rucksack style setup or, I'll just, or as I refer to just a ruck setup. That is the ultimate in terms of both sustainment and uh, you know the ability to keep going in the field, right? Create fires, cook, purify water, uh, hunt, and uh, have shelter equipment. That is not the goal here. So if you see stuff that is missing, it's because those capabilities were lost or intentionally dropped in order to lose weight and keep the package as small as possible. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, first off, the rifle. It is important to understand, once again, as I keep harping on, this rifle is not really a designated marksman rifle. This is more of a mountain gun rifle, right? It's very similarly set up to a general carbine, except I have 18 inch barrels and I have, you know, magnification. This magnification, uh, if you go watch the video, I explain why this rifle is set up the way it is. But in short, I want it to be as light as possible while still having good lethality due to the 18 inch barrel. I'm not suppressing due to, um, here comes a nut and fancy term, size and weight considerations. Uh, I just don't want to deal with the weight of a suppressor when I don't have to. Right? This is the and I could also have a longer range scope, but the ACOG gives me all the magnification I need for identification, observation, and engaging at range. Right? I'm not looking to create a DM setup. This is a you know, mountain gun, so to speak. Right? Closer to being more of a defensive rifle, right? only use it if I have to. Kind of so the RMR up top is a little bit of added bulk and weight, uh, but it gives me night vision passive capability. As you can see, I have night vision with me over here. And that's really all there is to it, to this rifle. It's a very simplistic light setup. I have a flashlight, sling, and an optic, and that's about it. And so this comes in at about nine pounds, and uh, it really handles like a much smaller rifle with that 18, uh, with, even though it has an 18 inch barrel. Let's move this to the side. If you are aware of this channel, I've already done a video on this and why I think the micro rig not only has a niche, 
but actually excels in this role in this very lightweight, mobile, recce style system, right? I don't want armor, and I don't want an extreme excess of magazines and capability. I want to shed everything that I don't have to, and then just keep the rest, right? Let's carry mags, some utility at range with a tourniquet, a range card, right? The ACOG doesn't need a range card, but here we are, right? This is for other rifles, just in case I decide to bring other rifles. Uh, and a rangefinder. I also have the ability to take notes, and that's really about it. I'm supposed to have a multi-tool in here, but it went missing, uh, so I gotta buy a new one. Two magazines, as I do, as I mentioned in that video, I get into why I only think I need three magazines, right? One in the rifle, two here. Um, but if I do want more, I can put more into the backpack. I also have comms capability, should I be running with a team? As for pistol, this doesn't technically need to be here because there is a very, very good chance I will not run a pistol. Gas, yeah, I know, some people are very anti not running a pistol, but for me, a pistol is a luxury, it's a backup, and it's a backup that actually costs a lot of bulk and weight. What do I mean by this? If you've gone backpacking at all, you know stuff on your belt line, and elsewhere takes up room. It doesn't let you effectively use a waist strap and it just kind of gets in the way. Especially with how I like to sling my rifle, a pistol gets in the way a lot and it's just really, it doesn't need to be there in a setup like this. If I really needed stuff to keep my rifle in the game, I would just carry more magazines and any situation where my rifle goes down hard, um, most of those can't be solved with a pistol because of the nature of the environment I'm operating in with a setup like this, right? I'm not taking, you know, 200 yard shot pistol shots. I will be leaving the era rapidly if uh, my rifle goes down. Okay, moving on. Real tip, quick, going to touch on night vision equipment. I'm gonna run night vision, why? Because I'm gonna aim to move during the night. It's cooler and it keeps me less exposed in terms of bumping into other people. Remember, I'm not actually running multi-function laser, but passive aiming can be done by the RMR should I need to engage under night vision. But that is not the goal of the setup. The night vision is purely for movement. Finally, a watch. This is an automatic um, a glycine combat sub. It's got a little bit of heritage. It's a little bit cool, uh, but it also allows me to effectively tell the time and do nifty you know, northwest, south uh, bullshit using the hour hand and all that stuff. Mainly it's just a watch. It doesn't need to be here, but I did kind of want to show it off. Oh, the watch also allows you to sync your time with everyone else in the area uh, if you're moving in a group. All right, onto this bag. You'll notice, so this bag is actually not my recce backpack. This is the one I have in the car. It's a Mystery Ranch, I believe 48 hour, or it might be 24 hour. Um, don't quite remember, I'll have that up on screen. I don't really care what the number says. This is a good sized backpack for what I aim to do. And that's, you know, exist in an environment for a 24 to 48 hour period. I have this one because it looks cool for the thumbnail because it matches the color of the gear uh, and the rain gear. But this one's actually my car one and it's more of a quasi get home backpack than really being a recce style bag. That being said, the only real difference between this setup and the one I'm about to show you, like everything is in the same pouches, uh, the main compartment has more water and more cold weather gear. With the car set up, I have a large trunk, so I will take sacrifice some gear that I don't need for that season and use the gear I do need for that season, right? If it's summer, I will carry a ridiculous more amount of water and ditch all the warm weather gear or cold weather gear. And if it's the winter, I can lose some of that water, right? My body heat can melt snow and the likes, and I can carry more warm weather gear, right? So that's really the only diff thing, difference between this one and the one I'm about to show you. All right, this is the bag I use as my recce backpack. God, I hate that term. Ah! Dude, this, this, uh, this recording is just going all so well. All right, so why did I get this backpack? Initially, I had, stay. Initially, I had a Camelback style like so. This is an excellent bag, 100%. However, there are a couple of issues. When the water is stored on the outside, it doesn't actually give you more space. What does that mean? Because it's stored in a compartment that is part of the bag, it pushes inward, reducing your in inside capacity. That's a minor deal. 
But the main big deal is this has no um, hard backer. So when this thing gets very full, it's really hard to demo here, it poofs out like a ball and that is incredibly uncomfortable. Because now it feels like you're carrying a giant basketball on your back and a rucksack and you get pressure points and it's undesirable. So fuck off. Okay. Let's go through this bag real quick. It is nothing special, but um, it gives you an idea. Also, wh uh, why, why the Mystery Ranch specifically? Uh, honestly, uh, you're gonna kill me. Uh, in Tarkov, this bag, the tri-zip is very prevalent and um, somebody recommended this bag to me and I'm like, hey, that's the bag from Tarkov. It isn't, by the way, but it's close. And um, yeah, the rest is history. That being said, it's a good bag. So you can choose to open just the top and kind of reach in like a standard bag, or you can fillet it open and get access to everything. That's how we'll look at things from now. Rain gear. I actually have a coyote colored rain gear one. I just prefer this one more when I was shooting last and I brought this out. I generally train with this guy to add weight to my shoulders if I don't want to carry a plate carrier, which is most of the summer. So rain gear, super important. Also adds warmth if I need it. Snuggie pack. What is this? This is essentially a, um, a woody that fits in this little um, compression sack. I can tighten this down more, but honestly, I don't want to hyper compress it and ruin all of the uh, down material. Assuming it's down, I think it's down. Regardless, this gives me a little bit of warmth and prevents me from being a um, you know exposure uh, casualty. It gives me that extra bit of warmth. Now. This isn't waterproof, so if it's at all moist out, this thing is going to become a soggy piece of shit. How do I prevent that? I run garbage bags. Now, isn't that the most poor fag thing you've ever heard? No, I actually do own, um, uh, uh, what are they called? I own bivvies, right? so basically a giant condom that you shove yourself into and it keeps you dry, but I don't like bivvies. Ignoring the fact that they uh, make you sweat and kind of become a moisture trap, they, um, they take up a large amount of space and weigh a lot, right? And the whole goal here is to keep bulk down, and that wasn't doing it. And besides, sleeping is a low priority during something like a recognition like this. We're only napping. So these provide some degree of waterproofness, right? If it starts really dumping water, I can move all the gear that needs to be waterproof into one of these in the bag. I can also put this on my, you know, on the floor if I need to lay down and wrap myself up in these garbage bags. These are Costco brand garbage bags, and they're ludicrously tough, and you can carry a lot of them. And when you use them up, you just dump them because it's a fucking emergency. In compartment, I have these calorie bricks. There's currently four in here. Each one has 2,400 calories. As I'm set up right now, the plan is two for every 24 hours. That gives me 5,000 calories per 24 hours. That is gross overkill, but when you're huffing and puffing, you use a lot of calories, uh, and this keeps you going, both morale-wise and, um, you know, you need calories. These aren't terrible. These are kind of a little bit like the, um, those little crackers you get in the MREs, you know, the ones that you uh, bet your friends can't eat five of, and then you almost kill them by accident because they choke to death. Same concept, these have a little more flavor and there's a little less dry, but, um, yeah. Water. Because I go shooting with this, this is a thermos uh, container. I am generally not going to use this in an emergency, but remember, this bag exists at home, and I leave home from with this thing. So if I'm going out for an actual awe, uh, this will be replaced with something more standard, like an algae. So for now, I have this because cold water is nice when you're shooting out in the desert. We got a big boy. That one will be replaced by another one of these and potentially a third one in the horizontal position up top. I can also put them on the outside uh, if I'd like. But I store them without. This also has a metal canteen in here. This is mainly more here so it does, this pouch doesn't collapse and this can slot in and out like this. Don't fucking say it. And um, it also allows me to purify water by boiling, should I need to, especially in the winter if I want to heat up a lot of water real fast, or snow, rather. 
Finally, if I'd like, I don't generally carry extra magazines because I don't think it's relevant. However, if I'd like, I can store magazines in this pouch. That way they don't migrate around the bag and I have struggle to look for them. This way I have easy access to more mags should my primary combat load empty out in a very unlikely scenario. So this is where I would store them. Okay, that takes care of, oh no, we got these guys on the side. Ugh. So, glasses, contact fluids. I wear contact lenses. I am a cripple, I am both left-handed and have shit vision and I have astigmatism. Life's a fucking bitch. So, I need to have this stuff. If you know have contact lenses, you know contacts get dirty uh, in the most inopportune time, and I don't want to be dealing with that, so this lets me clean the contact lenses, and this gives me an option to just chuck the contact lenses and wear glasses. There's also an extra pair of contact lenses in here if I want to keep rocking them lenses. And then I got nibble food, right? Keep me happy. Um, Let's me eat while moving a little more effectively, and uh, yeah. These are in a plastic bag, by the way, because chocolate has oil in it, and oil gets fucking everywhere, so um, yeah, good advice. Here's a point that someone might ask about. Why does my dog feed that as an invitation? Hi, yes. All right, please go away. Go away. That's the camera. Stay. Okay, you're right next to me. You're happy? You're happy. Yeah, she's happy. Okay, so you might be, a lot of people might be wondering, why don't I run a camelback? For those that are wondering, it's basically a hydration bladder that carries a lot of water and has a little tube so you can sip on it while moving. I love camelbacks for certain situations. However, for a recce style system like this, especially with a backpack that is loaded up, camelbacks have some issues. Namely, they leak. And they leak quite badly when they in the summer, the modern Camelback's new ones are generally pretty good. They don't leak too much. However, in the winter, the tube likes to freeze up and the whole system goes down, and it's fucking misery. Uh, they're also hard to reheat if they completely freeze. So that is an important issue and why I don't run a Camelback in this setup. Because if it leaks, it's going to compromise a lot of the gear in here. And I just don't want to deal with that, right? I can use water bottles. Finally. Over here, we have comms, uh, extra batteries for comms right in my, my setup. I have a battery bank with a cable that allows micro USB and USB-C. If I was going to ditch some weight, um, this is where I would start. This is mainly for batteries on all my systems, but because I already have redundant batteries, you'll see both in the helmet and the pistol grip of the rifle and right here. This is probably one of the more redundant things that don't really need to be here. If I'm going to ditch something, it's this battery pack. And that's really about it. This guy over here uh, to take that little pot thing I showed you uh, off of the fire if I were to make a fire. Once again, this setup isn't about long-term sustainment, so making a fire is really low on the priority list, and it is more of an emergency thing than it is a... Um, than a planned object. This dog is just trying to crawl on my lap. No, that's not. Uh, oh, I also skipped over it, but you don't need to see it. There's, uh, in the bottom of the bag, shoved away, it's really hard to get out, there is toilet paper in a Ziploc bag and, and one extra pair of socks. Wet socks are a bitch, and toilet paper is mandatory. Trust me, if you haven't wiped, wiping your ass with leaves is fucking lame. Okay, final location. There is a schmug in here. It's a scarf, whatever. It's mainly for bugs. Up here, we have all the first aid kit, as well as this. This is fire starting equipment and a compass, essentially, and water for purification. Is this required? No. This is for if every, something goes really bad, and I'm going to be stuck out way longer than expected. This allows me to get a fire going, which allows me to do certain things. But this is an absolute emergency last resort, and I do not plan on really using this, and I'm not designed around using it. Honestly, that's really about it. There's a water purification thing. You can kind of see it right here, and the rest of it is first aid. Okay, that is it. Once again, I really want to emphasize this is designed for a very specific mission set. Right? It's going somewhere fast, and then coming back fast. 
Uh, it gives me the ability to go for about 24 to 48 hours, tops, 48 hours is really pushing it, especially due to the water and exertion um, in it. Uh, but it lets me go somewhere really fast. Yes, I could have done things to increase my capability, bipod, 308 rifle, more of a DM style setup, more magazines, more shelter. I could have done all these things, but that compromises the mission that this was set up for, and uh, I don't want to do that. So anyway, that's been some, some ass facts for you. So uh, stay safe. Remember, design your setup to fit your goals. Don't just copy the setup, and uh, we'll see you guys around. Hoo -ah!